Welcome to the section about electricity. There's two chapters. This is the first out of the second, uh, out of the two. For the first time, we're focusing more on what is electricity. The second one will focus more on how do you put electricity in a circuit, a more complicated setup. Now, if you go to any switch in your house and you press the on, what happens to a light bulb? Hopefully, you know what a light bulb will do. So here I have a battery, a switch, and a light bulb. Simple basic circuit. When I close the switch, ooh, it glows. Why is that? What's happening? The whole idea of circuit is actually this. This battery has some energy. Can we see the values, please? Ah, yes. Some energy stored inside there, chemical energy. Then the energy is somehow transferred from the battery into the light bulb. The first part is about current. So if we want to see who is transferring the energy, this is what we call electric current. Uh, actually, it's charges moving up. We'll learn more about that in the next video. But we need to define first what is current. Current is basically all this stuff flowing around. But it's not just any flow, current flow, okay. No, no, the Cambridge definition is that you want to say, what is current? Well, current, we use the symbol I in units of amperes. Because ampere kind of played a big role. So the definition you want to write down is the rate of flow of charged carriers. Ooh, what does that mean? Just now those small things flowing around were actually electrons and those carry a negative charge around the circuit. In this case, for example, electrons in a conductor. All right, so this is, by the way, current is a scalar. It, we don't care which direction is flowing. I mean, we do care which direction, but it's not like a vector up, down and left and right. There is one equation you must know that goes with this definition. So, you know, rate of flow. We can come up with the idea that I equals to dQ dt. Perhaps this may scare you a little bit. So another form that you may see this appear much more common is I equals to Q over T. This one, ah, this one must write down. So what is Q and what is T? Q here is the total charge flowing by a point. We'll see what that means in a bit. T here is, you can call it like the time interval. Time interval. If you want to use it in the, the first form, then it will be total charge per unit time. That will be the dt here. So basically, how much time it is uh, flowing through a point. So what does it mean by flowing through a point? Hmm, okay. So remember we said that charges are flowing through in the wires, going round and round, right? We have this device called the ammeter, which is what you use in labs. And all you need to do is inspect one point on the wire and say, okay, you see this target sign? How many charges, or how is the total charge, passing by this spot, one point, per unit time? That's what you get for current. Now, I'm going to give you a challenge. You are going to try to be an ammeter, training for your eyes. Here's the challenge. The game is I'm going to use marbles instead and send these marbles. Oh, let me put this up here. Send the marbles rolling down this pipe. Here, the challenge is I'm going to draw a line right here. Yes, here. And you're going to keep close attention to this line. So when I throw a marble in, you have to well, pay pretty close attention to see that marble that flows through that. You see that? Okay, so marbles are going to be rolling through this. So the first challenge is I am going to um, release a number of marbles into the pipe and all you need to do is guess or write down how many marbles you think went through the pipe. I know you can cheat like say, Miss, I can hear the sound of the marbles ma. Ah yeah, can lah. But you try to watch, see if you can watch, just train your eye skills, okay? So alright, I'm going to release a bunch of uh, marbles and try to keep your eyes sharp. You can slow down the video if you want to. Okay, how many marbles did I release? This one will give you the answer. In total, if you watch really carefully, train your eyes to see how many is passing through this line, I release a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 marbles. Okay, so five marbles going through a pipe and you are watching how many pass this point. 
Here comes the actual real challenge. I'm going to re release a whole lot of marbles. You need to guess how many marbles went through this line and how long did it take the time between the time when the first marble come in and the last marble go in. Are you ready? Ready and let's go! So, what do you think? How many marbles in total pass through? It's a, it's a challenge, right? You might comment down your answer below and we'll see if a lot of people comment. You can find the average of everyone's answer and you might get close to the true value. It's called a method of experiment. Precision and accuracy, right? Anyway, back to this. So, we define current uh, as total charge, which you have to know how many pass through. So, let's call this Q. So, it goes to N times each marble's charge, or rather in the proper physics terms, each electron's charge. So N times Q. So what you all did was similar to what an ammeter would do. An ammeter will just look at one point on the line or wire and say, all right, I'm going to see how many towards the total charge per unit time. And there will be, not marbles, there will be a lot of electron, 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 electron. Or you can say negative, 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 all flowing in one direction. Each of them have a charge of E. So I'm going to write a reminder here that the charge of an electron is negative 1 E. What is E? E is an elementary charge. So that will be 1.6 times 10 to negative 19 Coulombs. You can find this value in the first page of every question paper. Okay. By the way, uh, hey, what's a C? Uh? What is Coulomb? Coulomb is a unit for Q. Charge, Coulomb. Charge, many Coulombs. So there is one more thing you need to know for definitions, and that is actually the definition of one Coulomb. What is the definition of Coulomb? You know, to make things simple, we just say that, oh, you want to define Coulomb? This will be the charge passing a point in the circuit when one ampere of current flows in one second. This might seem quite a handful, like why do you use this? Well, because of Q equals to IT. So if we say one ampere, one second, okay, we get one coulomb. And that's our definition. <laughs> Just got to define it some way. All right. So Q times N, Q, and things like that. Oh, one more thing. You know what? All the charge in the world is made of electrons, right? Well... Electrons form the elementary charge. This is called elementary charge. So that means, quick uh, important note, so I'm going to squeeze it in here. Charge, all the charge in the world have to be a multiple of E. So that's the principle that charge is what we call quantized. So all charge objects in the world must be must be a multiple of the elementary charge which is one electron e e is a constant okay it's e yeah e okay so it's one e two e must must be discrete values or multiples or we cannot be in between all right so that's the main idea of how we define current and how do we measure current and as we move forward to more and more complicated circuits, remember, current is measured at a point, And ideally, this ammeter will have zero resistance. So all the current just flow through. You just count on it. You just observe. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Ah, like what you did just now, okay? So go try out some examples. In the next part, we'll look at how does current flow through a conductor that has some resistance to it.
Okay, but that's all for this video. I will see you in the next one.